Hello everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and today I have a fun challenge for you. So here is the molecule, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hexachlorocyclohexane. And the question that I have for you is, how many chiral stereoisomers do we have for this molecule? Is it 0, or maybe 2, 4, maybe 12? How would you approach a question like that? Pause this video now, work through that, and tell me how many you got in the comments below, and then continue with the video. So when it comes to questions like that, we need to come up with some sort of a system how to draw all possible stereoisomers without repeating ourselves or getting lost and forgetting some of those. So I would suggest we start by taking all of our chlorines and pointing them looking at us. So we'll have all chlorines looking at us on the wedge, just like that. Then, once we get every new stereoisomer, we are going to ask ourselves if the molecule is chiral or not. Well, is this molecule chiral? No, this molecule is not chiral. We have a ton of planes of symmetry here, so that is an example of an achiral molecule because it will be superimposing with its own mirror image. Well, how about now we take one of the chlorines and we put it on the dash while keeping the rest on the wedge? Something like that. Well, is this molecule chiral? And the answer is no, this molecule is not chiral again, because again we have a plane of symmetry going right through the middle of the molecule, straight up and down. Well, how about now when I have two chlorines looking away from me and the rest are looking at me? Is this molecule chiral? And again, this molecule is not going to be chiral, because again we have a plane of symmetry going through the molecule like that. But we can have more options with the two chlorines looking in the opposite direction, so the next one will have the chlorines looking in the opposite direction when they are in the 1-3 position to each other. Is this molecule chiral? And unfortunately this one is not chiral again, because again we have a plane of symmetry here. So that means that we need to continue with our search. Well, what if now I have the two chlorines that are looking in the opposite direction be in a 1-4 position? Would that be chiral? And again, no, it's not chiral, because we have one plane of symmetry here and another plane of symmetry over there, so the molecule will definitely superimpose with its own mirror image. So that means that now I have to move to the molecule where three chlorines are going to be looking in one direction, and three chlorines will have to be looking in the opposite direction. And for my first example with the three chlorines one direction, three chlorines the other direction, I will have something like that. That molecule unfortunately has a plane of symmetry going through the middle of that as well, so that is not going to be a chiral molecule either, which kind of starts looking like we don't have any chiral stereoisomers here at all. Is that a trick question? I don't know, let's continue and see. In my next molecule I'm going to have my chlorines alternate where they are looking at me or looking in the opposite direction, and now we have again a whole bunch of planes of symmetry over here, so that molecule is definitely not chiral either. And finally, I have the last example looking like that, and in this case the molecule is… <gasps> wait a minute, now the molecule is not symmetrical, so this one actually is chiral, which means that we can draw an enantiomer of this molecule that's going to be a non-superimposable mirror image that would look like that, which means that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexachlorocyclohexane has two chiral stereoisomers, and they are enantiomers of each other. So altogether we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stereoisomers, and only two of those are going to be chiral. Did you get all of these guys, or did you have more? or maybe less, let me know in the comments below. And if you are still here, thank you for watching. Leave me your feedback and questions in the comments below, and if you learned something new today or like questions like that, hit that like button to help promote this video and help more students see it. Subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates, watch this video next, and I will see you tomorrow.